The Blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam declared Every prophet warned his people about the Antichrist, about Dajjal, the false messiah. And the prophet Noah warned his people. But I, I say to you something that none have said before me. The Antichrist sees with one eye, his left eye. He's blind in the right eye. It looks like a bulging grip. But your Lord is not one eye. Between his eyes, on his forehead, is written the word kafir, disbeliever. And every mu'min will be able to read it. A mu'min is the one who has accepted the religion, the true religion but has not only accepted it with the lips, but the truth has entered into the heart. The one who has faith is a mu'min. And so every mu'min will be able to read and recognize disbeliever. Whether that mu'min is literate or illiterate, Well then why is it that the one who is a disbeliever cannot read? How come? The one who has faith can read. The one who has no faith cannot read. So maybe we should send him to the eye specialist to have his eyes examined. Why can't you read? But the report comes back from the eye specialist. Perfect vision. No glaucoma. No cataract. His eyes are perfect. Well then why can't he read? Even though his eyes are perfect. And why is it that the one who has faith can read and recognize kafir disbeliever? Maybe that the one who has faith is not reading with these eyes. Do we have any other eyes beside these eyes? Do we have any other ears beside these ears? Do we have any other means of acquiring knowledge other than through sense perception and rationality, <coughs> through observation. The modern godless world says no. The Quran says yes. The Quran says that the heart can see. The Quran says that the heart can hear. When faith enters into the heart, then Allah puts noor in the heart, light. And with that light, the heart can see what these eyes cannot see. And so now it is plain and clear that when the one who has faith is seeing, He's seeing with more than these eyes. He's seeing with the heart. And so now it is also plain and clear that when the Dajjal sees with the left eye, it symbolizes external vision. 
And when the Dajjal is blind in the right eye, it symbolizes internal blindness. With this introduction, we understand now that when we're dealing with the subject of the Antichrist, there is a lot of symbolism involved in it. Religious symbolism, which needs to be interpreted. <laughs>